you know, if, if, if you have to take a few bouncing in front of you, uh, this is the drill for you. Okay, so um, we can move this just slightly. That will be your leg stump. Always work with the stump. It always it helps, believe me, to give you a reference of where to stay. Yeah. Whether you put it on leg stump, middle stump, off stump, always work with the stump when you do any, kitchen, uh, any keeping drill that's going to do with glove work and ball being thrown at you. Okay, but for a SEMA, what do you recommend? Okay, so you will give yourself space. Yes, we'll use this as a middle stump. Let's go back to middle, right? So what we're working on here is it's going to be different to what you were doing where you were spending most time on your crouching position. Yeah. So now the crouching will still be there, but you will slightly go a bit quicker onto your power position. Uh, okay. Okay. So, so instead of being down here, yes. I'm now here. Exactly. Okay. 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 Crouch looks dodgy, eh? <laughs> it's like you're falling forward. <laughs> but like I said, if a person feels comfortable with that, uh, I'm happy with it. But like I said, you're not supposed to have back problems when you're a keeper. It's work on your uh, strength, uh, on your fitness, you should be good to go. Because okay. if, you, if you do your fitness well and you still have back problems, then that's when we need to look at that crouch, that technique of keeping. Okay, so, so okay, yeah. Uh, Locked <laughs> Locked up. Locked up. Locked up. So we're going to start again with yellow balls. Now, this time I'm going to slightly be standing. There's no extreme pace behind it, but the key is Remember what we work on in the first time, keep your head in line with the ball, watch the ball into the glove and close your hand. Okay, power position, go. Okay, well done. You give yourself 10 points for that because when that ball hit the stumps, your gloves are right behind the stumps. Yes, so there you go. <laughs> Okay, try to get to that uh, power position a bit slightly when I raise my hand. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes. Remember, that's your middle stump. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's the yellow balls, that's what they do. So now we move to my favorite balls, which is the red balls. Yes. Now you'll feel the exercise is slightly bit different from what you just did. Tape. Don't be scared by the cones. The key is to look at the ball. Interesting one. <laughs> That's why we call that a... Yeah, yeah. My, my gloves, actually, and you know what, as we're doing these drills, I can feel it when my gloves leave the floor too soon. As a quick bowler, there's one thing I always add in the drills, which I think we leave out as coaches, is that um, not all the time the balls will carry nicely to the wicket keeper. You get those that bounce in front of them, and that is one of them, where you find yourself taking the head off. Now, you're already reversing what we were working on in the beginning, which is keep your head, eyes, exactly. Okay. If you have to take one on your face, unfortunately, that's what we can keep us go through. Just part of your job. Okay, last two. Okay, interesting one. <laughs> last thing to leave is your gloves. Watch it. There you go. So in, in, in most cases, what I love about this draws when you do this, um, like the one that hit the, the cone and you still catch it, is that remember, co confidence is key when you're a wicketkeeper. If you get your confidence on, you work with your bowler, that's when you'll find yourself standing up if you're a guy who's just walking down the wicket and smashing the ball. The second you walk up, uh, you stand up to him, you allowing him, you actually you're, you're not allowing him to do what he was doing freely. So now you're forcing him to stay on, inside his crease. But you can't do that without confidence. And the best way to get confidence, practice. Right. Repetition, repetition, repeti so rest, repetition. Rest. It's like being in the gym, right? You want to build a muscle, you got to rep. Rep, rep. Eat, rep. eat proper, you're good to go. Yeah.